Hey, what's going on, crypto people? It is the Crypto Siege with another day in the life, in the crazy life that is the digital asset space. What's going on, guys? Happy Tuesday. Good morning to you. Guys, interesting stuff. We're going to kind of go back a little bit uh, and uh, kind of reminisce a little about a company called NetSense and, uh, and how it kind of relates with today's news, uh, which I find to be very, 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 very interesting. So let me do this first. Guys, listen, this is your XRP Ripple daily news in zero to 10 minutes. So back in November of 2019, uh, news.net, their sense, put out an article about what they were doing. Net uh, NetSense technology adds Ripple's XRP to its merchant gateway. Okay, so whereas NetSense is pleased to announce the addition of Ripple XRP to the NetSense merchant gateway an instant settlement program to allow for purchases at all of our participating merchants. The integration development has begun and will move into integration testing this Friday with plans going live thereafter. XRP will only be added to the NetSense merchant platform, not to the NC exchange at this time. So they have an exchange also. Ripple is a real-time gross settlement system, currency exchange, and remittance network that has a USD $13.4 billion market cap and nearly $2 billion a day in volume. This is, again, back in November of 2019. With Ripple being a top cryptocurrency with high daily volume and an increasing demand from merchants, Ripple is aligned with our requirements for our instant settlement program, stated Madi Murtash, the CTO of NetSense Technology. We look forward to adding this digital currency to our platform and offering it to our merchants. Again, guys, this is November of 2019, and this is a particular place that actually has an exchange as well. So who is NetSense? Just a little bit about what NetSense is. So NetSense is a next generation online payment processing platform offering consumers and merchants on online services for managing electronic payments. The company is focused on capturing the migration from cash to digital currency by utilizing innovative blockchain technology to provide payment solutions that are simple to use secure and worry-free. NetSense works with its financial partners, mobile operators, exchanges, etc., to streamline the user experience of transacting online. NetSense, uh, NetSense technology is integrated into the automated clearinghouse, ACH, and is registered as a money services business with FinTrack, which ensures our company's security and privacy. NetSense is available for deposits from 194 countries around the world, providing you with the freedom to choose to pay your way. Choose to pay your way. XRP added to the platform, guys. So this is from Clayton Moore, the CEO and founder of uh, NetSense Technology, Inc. Looks like they're out of Vancouver, British Columbia. So, interesting, right? That they would add XRP. I think that's outstanding. I'm sure we've heard or seen, I'm sure someone of the content creators covered this uh, when it came out in November. But here's something that's from Yahoo Finance. And uh, again, the timing could, could not be more apropos. So, uh, again, this is from Yahoo Finance. NetSense declares readiness for expected U.S. Federal Reserve digital dollar. New currency anticipated to be part of the future beer cold package. Interesting. New currency anticipated to be part of future beer cold stimulus package. Vancouver, British Columbia. NetSense Technology Inc., a disruptive cryptocurrency payments technology company, is pleased to announce that it has completed internally designated preparation for the expected U.S. government-backed cryptocurrency, the central bank digital currency is what they're calling it, okay? 
NetSense jumped into action as soon as it learned of the plans of the United States Congress made to legislate for this U.S. Federal Reserve digital currency as part of two different versions of the first beer cold stimulus bill. Ultimately, this aspect of the legislation wasn't included in the final version of the stimulus bill, but the board and advisors of NEFSETS have agreed that this digital dollar will be included in subsequent legislation. Very, very important to know this again, they're telling us in the direction that they're moving in and they're telling the masses the direction that we're moving in. Listen, we already know, right? Because we're part of the early adopters in the digital asset space, because we're part of the SLP community, we have such great content uh, creators and, and, great, oh, and a great overall community that just continues to add value every single day. We are two and three and four steps ahead of the masses, but the masses don't know. This is how they're learning. This is how they're learning about what's going on. So the bill is, is expected to establish a digital dollar defined as a balance expressed as a dollar value consisting of digital ledger entries that are recorded as liabilities in the accounts of any Federal Reserve Bank or an, an, uh, an electronic unit of value redeemable by an eligible financial institution. This will create a cryptocurrency backed and guaranteed by the U.S. federal government. Yahoo Finance. This, the bill goes on to define a digital wallet and a requirement that U.S. chartered banks offer these wallets, a requirement. The establishment of these products is intended to simplify the cost and process of distributing the millions of stimulus payments contemplated by the bill. But the effects of this move will be far reaching while the complexity of this undertaking, undertaking meant that Congress was unable to include it in the first bill. <laughs> but the Board of Advisors and the people at the company NetSense believe it will be eventually added in future legislation. I wonder where they're getting that from. Nesset's management believes the ultimate adoption is a foregone conclusion. Isn't that interesting? All right, so Daniel Gorfin, founder of FinTech advisory firm, Kataka Horizons, and former chief innovation officer at the Commodities Future Trading Commission, as well as a founding director of the Digital Dollar Project. Stated to Forbes, it is worth exploring, testing, and piloting, piloting a true U.S. dollar CBDC and broader digital infrastructure. Love that word, digital infrastructure, in order to improve our future capabilities and resiliency. While the crisis underscores the importance of Upgrading our financial infrastructure, upgrading our financial infrastructure, broadly implementing a CBDC will require time and thoughtful coordination between the government and private sector stakeholders. And this is from an article in Forbes, March 24, 2020. NetSense has developed software to support these initiatives and stands ready to support the effort. Part of the bill requires United States chartered banks to offer these digital wallets to their clients. NetSense has built this platform as part of its current white level offering for financial institutions. The Forbes article goes on to quote uh, Carmeli Cadet, founder and CEO of MTech, Carmeli Cadet, a modern central bank technology and services company. She has recently started a new initiative called Project New Dawn to ensure the unbanked and underbanked receive economic stimulus payments. Wow, how about that? Citing an FDIC report in 2017 that identified 63 million unbanked and under, underbanked in the United States, 
63 million. She notes, if checks are the form of payment, the stimulus is not going to reach many of them. That will be approximately 100 billion underutilized of stimulus for lower income householders. We fully support the United States government and it's the creation of the contemplated digital reserve currency. Digital reserve currency. The United States dollar is already the reserve currency of the world. So moving it to a digital format makes total sense. The United States might have 63 million unbanked, but the planet Earth has billions of unbanked. It only makes sense that the dollar take a digital form to enable remittance and micropayments for the unbanked globally, as well as ensure its status as the world's dominant currency. How about that? The benefits to the treasury would accrue into many billions of dollars in innumerable ways. Wow, the benefits to the treasury would accrue into many billions of dollars in innumerable ways. Societal benefits would be created as well. A digital dollar would be difficult to use for crimes and funding terrorism, for example. Hmm. This milestone is the ultimate endorsement that cryptocurrency and blockchain are here to stay, stated Clayton Moore, Chief Executive Officer of NetSense. We look forward to offering our platform to the U.S. banks and then to global banks so that they can meet the requirements of a digital USD wallet. He summarized. NetSense technologies enable transactions that are both touchless and within social distancing guidelines. <laughs> How about that? which is an added benefit in the current environment. <laughs> oh my goodness. The Nest Sense suite of software enables individuals and merchants to track and transact using cryptocurrency, both in a physical store environment, as well as in an e-commerce setting. It is deploying crypto enabled financial products across numerous business verticals to become a complete crypto ecosystem. Welcome to the future. We all know, guys, we all have seen, we've talked about it many times, that the beer code was just an, just a distraction. The beer code was a pen, if you will, to pop the bubble. The beer code was a way for them to put forth what they want to put forth. If there's a crisis going on and people are getting laid off and all these different kind of things are going on, they have to come to the rescue, if you will, right? So they have to create a big enough problem for them, if you will, to come to the rescue. No one's going to care how they get this money as long as they get it, right? That's the deal. If it's a digital dollar and it's going to get digital wallets, and it's pretty much not a whole lot that the masses have to do other than have um, a, a, bank account, a bank account or, and or have filed, that's a pretty smooth transition. They'll take the money and then months from now, six months, nine months from now, when they do something else, it'll be like, okay, this is how, this is how things are going to be in the future, <laughs> right? Absolutely outstanding. Great, great article here from Finance, um, Yahoo Finance. So guys, listen, there it is right there. Exciting time. NetSense declares readiness for expected, expected U.S. Federal Reserve digital dollar guys so never ever forget this just because you and i know doesn't mean that the masses know what's going on this is how they let them know it may seem very very obvious to you and i but this is how old money let's via the social media via, uh, mainstream media this is how they let the masses know what's going on so guys listen this is really exciting for me i'm going to wrap up this video like i do all my videos and remind you of this old money doesn't want you to win. They don't want us to win. They would rather us remain a cog in their perpetual wheel of trading our time for dollars. They don't want us to play in the same playground that they play in, where we allow our money to work for us. This is our chance to win, guys. The digital asset space is our chance to win. We are in the midst of the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of man. 
are you participating? Or are you standing on the sidelines? Here's what I do know, that the battle for you has already been fought and the victory is yours. Go get it. I'll talk to you soon, guys. See ya. Bye.